Hi everyone, uh, happy new year. This is my first video in 2017 and I'm happy to share some new insights with you. Um, during the last two weeks, I spent a lot of time with my family. I was completely offline, uh, which gave me the opportunity uh, to read a lot as well. And uh, based on all the readings and all the trend reports I saw, I just made, I wanted to make this short video that gives you my four insights on the things that I really look forward to in the next uh, 12 months of new things that will happen in the world. And the first thing is, is like the evolution of AI, artificial intelligence. Uh, we're going to read a lot about that. We're going to see a lot of demos by companies like IBM and Google and Facebook about the possibilities of AI. But I think in 2017, what will have the biggest impact is not artificial intelligence, but intelligence augmented. And intelligence augmented is, I think, the first phase that we're going to see where people actually use automated technologies to deliver bigger services. Um, just to give you an example, we talk a lot about the virtual assistants, the front end towards customers, but I think in customer service, we're gonna see a lot of back end applications that are using AI to help the people in the back end to deliver a higher service level. Um, I've seen demos of companies. Uh, one, of the one of the companies that I really like is Digital Genius. It's a small company in San Francisco. And what they do is they uh, make an analysis of all the data that you have about your history of customer service. They change the wordings into mathematics, which means that they can do that for every single language. And then they use that information in the system. And then if a question from a customer comes in, they make an assessment based on the past and they give you a suggestion of what you could answer to that customer. And they give you a probability of the the chance that that answer is correct answer. And you can even program it then when the chance is higher than 95% that it's correct answer, that it's fully automated. But you have the opportunity as a human to change that answer. Uh, KLM is using that and because of that, they can speed up the time to market, the time to communicate to customers. And it's all, almost fully automated, but at the last phase, a human is still adapting the text. And I think we're gonna see more and more of that where you use technologies in the back end you humans can use the input from the machine, change it a little bit, humanize it a little bit, but the speed to market and quality to market will increase. And that is intelligence augmented. And I think in 2017, that will have a bigger impact than artificial intelligence itself towards the consumer market. The second thing is the evolution of AR and VR, augmented reality and virtual reality. And I think virtual reality is really cool and we're gonna see a lot of cool applications about it. I think Facebook is gonna do really impressive stuff there. But to be really honest, I think the evolution of AR is gonna be a lot more impressive. And we saw the first thing about that in 2016, think about Pokemon Go, but that's just the beginning. I think in 2017, we're gonna see a lot of B2B applications of augmented reality. Like recently, I saw a demo of Microsoft's HoloLens, where a surgeon is using it during an operation to increase the efficiency and the impact of that operation. Uh, but think about B2B people, technical people that go on site and where they use the HoloLens or MetaVision or another tool uh, to get additional information about the task that they have to comply. I think that's going to be a huge thing. I don't know if it's going to be 2017, could be a little bit later, but I'm convinced that the impact of AR will be huge in the next few years. The third element are smart contracts. Uh, smart contracts use blockchain technology. Um, I'm not going to explain the technical details about blockchain, but I want to talk about the benefits for the user and the possibilities. And I think smart contracts will probably be the first commercial instrument that we're going to see using blockchain technology. And this could be huge, for instance, for the insurance industry. Uh, imagine micro insurances. Just imagine the possibility to, to take an insurance on a business flight, for instance, when it's really important that you catch a flight. Imagine that you can get an insurance for that. Well, smart contracts are very simple. They, they have a, a code, a line of script, and it could say like, Stephen has to catch a flight. If the flight leaves on time, Stephen pays for the insurance. If the flight doesn't leave on time, Stephen gets money from the insurance company. And they use the objective data from the internet to see if the flight left on time or not. So there's no human interference whatsoever, and it can be fully trusted because it's based on objective data. That's a smart contract. And that's just one example, but think about the possibilities of this. And I think blockchain is a huge thing that's coming into our world, but smart contracts could be the first application. And I'm hoping to see more of that in 2017. The fourth thing is probably gonna be the biggest thing in 2017, that's the battle and the extension of personal virtual assistants. If you look at the battle between Google Assistant, uh, 
Amazon Echo, Cortana from Microsoft, Siri from Apple, this is gonna be a huge playing field. And I'm pretty sure that in 2017, 2018, we're gonna see a winner popping up here and a system that is integrated in our homes and our cars and everything, and that is just helping us to communicate with companies. Um, think about the, the ethical questions that companies will need to ask themselves because if we want to buy something in the near future, we won't make that choice ourselves anymore, but an automated bot will do that. But that bot is created by a company. So how will that bot take a decision? Will that be commercial based or will that be based on a true need for a customer? I think that will be a crucial question in 2018. Uh, at this point, it feels like Alexa is winning in market share, but if you look at the demos, you see that Google Assistant is very powerful as well. So I'm really looking forward to that battlefield to see who the winner will be in that field of virtual assistants. And the next thing what I'm looking forward to is the extension of that field. Today you have them in your phone and you have those at home devices like Amazon Echo or Google Home. But like today, I read an article that Microsoft is partnering up with Nissan and BMW to use that virtual assistant in cars. So we're gonna see these virtual assistants popping up everywhere in all the connected devices that we're using, and it's gonna be, become part of our life, like a mobile phone became part of our life in the last 10 years, or a smartphone. Uh, in the next 10 years, a personal virtual assistant will become part of our lives, and I think 2017 will be the year where we're gonna find out who the winner in that field may be. And that's gonna be really exciting. And the last thing I'm personally looking forward to is the evolution of the driverless technology. Um, my feeling is since the summer of 2016, since August, like every day we saw news of driverless cars and trucks and you saw the ambition grow, not only from companies like Tesla and Google, but also from traditional players, like almost every car manufacturer is playing in this field and investments are going up. So I think in 2017, what we're gonna see is the revenge of the traditional car manufacturers. I think companies like Mercedes and BMW and the Japanese companies, uh, the American companies, they will use their power for mass production and their power and their knowledge to make cars. They're gonna use that combined with new technologies and those driverless technologies. So I expect, I expect to see a lot of those traditional car companies and I think that's gonna be really good for the market. Uh, on the other hand, I still think that Elon Musk wants to be the first one with a full driverless car on the market. So I wouldn't be surprised that by the end of 2017 or mid 2018, the driverless technology is available in Tesla because the hardware is already there. They're finishing up the software and then they can download it or users can download it on their car. So I think they will be first, but I think the biggest impact will come from the traditional companies in this field because the investments are booming. So I really hope and I'm looking forward to see more driverless technology in 2017. I hope this video was a good start of my videos in 2017 and I hope it helps you to look at the horizon to see what's coming to us and I hope you're as excited as me to look forward to all these new things. I wish you a fantastic 2017 and see you soon my friends. Bye bye.